ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yoleno TV. I hope you well for whatever you watch this channel. Let like us start this session by appreciating you so much for making this channel grow. If you wish to support us, just subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. So, ladies and gentlemen, there's a story here that uh, I came across and it's still on this issue of Sulu Raila Ruto alleged talk. And that has dominated the internet, ladies and gentlemen, to be honest. And uh, I stumbled upon a certain tweet regarding that story from a Twitter handler who's, who exposed the people who could have been the ones who are engineering that talk. So this Twitter handler, who is uh, alleged to be Makori, mentioned two people whom Makori believes that were part of the people who were engineering that mediation between Raila and Ruto. I want to remind you, ladies and gentlemen, that the government has not directly denied especially Hussein Mohammed did not deny. When asked whether that happened, he said the best person to, to respond to it is William Ruto. So they have not denied. William Ruto himself has not denied. What did he do? He only tweeted, said that he's ready for a talk. Mama Sulu has not denied. So what does this mean, ladies and gentlemen? So probably this tweet from Makori could be true or it could be false. Either way, I would like us to go through this tweet, dissect the tweet, and get a deeper understanding of this whole thing. Before we head there, please, as usual, I always like to uh, plead with you, you know, support Yolano TV by simply subscribing. It means so much to us if you subscribe to our channel. It means so much to this video if you hit the like button. So like, like this video so that it can get shared to other audiences. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get into this tweet. Makori said, It is now clear that Hassan Jo and Nuruddin Haji were trying to broker a meeting between Raila Odinga and President Ruto with President Samia Sulu as a mediator. Samia, can for, Samia came for a vacation as this was being engineered. The question is, assuming the truth worked, how was it going to reduce the cost of living? Let us open our eyes, Germany. Okay. So Makori says that Mama Sulu was here for a, a vacation. So he goes further to say that, according to him, according to Makori, that is, NIS boss Nuruddin Haji and the deputy leader of ODM, who is Hassan Jo, collectively made that effort of initiating this mediation process. This is the story of uh, Makori, which to me seems to be quite different from what Raila Morodinga said, because according to Raila, Raila says William Ruto called Mama Sulu Samia for to mediate this talk. According to Makori, Makori says the TZ president was in Kenya for a vacation. That's when Joho and NIS Nurin Haji took that opportunity to broker this deal through Mama, Mama, Mama Sulu's mediation. So we have two narratives here, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to understand, I want to understand this point quite perfectly well. Because we want to know whether uh, what Makori is saying is true or not true. But before you continue further, let me just give, get you up to speed with something here. According to blogger Abuga Makori, Nuruddin and Joe were on the center stage of brokering a meeting between the two top leaders in the country with President Samia. However, Makori claimed that Joe and Haji intercepted Sulu's vacation in the country wanting her to intervene and bring the two leaders to a conversation table. 
think you understand this point, eh? Makori's sentiments claiming that she had come into the country for a vacation, however, leaves more questions than answers considering insiders close to Samia revealed that former president uh, Tanzania, former Tanzania president Jakaya Kikwete had accompanied her to Kenya where they were being hosted at Nanyuki Fairmont Safari Club Hotel for two days. This story gets more interesting because now Talid that Jakaya Kikwete, the former president of TZ, was also in the company and they were hosted at Nanyuki Fairmont Safari Club Hotel for two days. So let's dig deep into this story. First, Raila tells us that Mama, Su Mama Sulu was called by William Ruto to mediate. I mean, that William Ruto is the first, the first person who made that approach. And he did this, he released this sto story uh, on Tuesday there, a day before uh, the march waited vigil, vigil uh, a day that was supposed to be Mandamano Day, but they changed uh, the whole thing to be a day for keeping G vigil of those people who were hurt during demonstrations and those people who were killed. So that's what happened. So Makori's sentiments are trying to shift away from Rela Morodinga's narrative to a narrative whereby NIS Nurjin Haji and Joho collaborated in this whole thing in an attempt to make Mama Sulu broker this peace between Ruto and Raila. And this whole thing, according to allegations, was that it happened close to two weeks ago. And I said in my other analysis that I suspected that the, the time when this was happening was that time when those MPs allied to Kenya Kwanza had trooped status, whereby the deliberation de de of that meeting, Ilikwani Kwamba, Hakuna Mambo ya Handshake. Hakuna Mambo ya Kungena Raila. The Chagwa was very categorical, Kwamba. Hakuna mambo ya handshake, hakuna mambo ya Raila. Lakini, sa, tunajua sote kwamba Raila Molo Dinga ana, ana aja na handshake. Ani, amesema, alisema bela duke diplomat. Bela ya ambassadors. Dunia zime najua. In fact, even in Al Jazeera, I saw that CNN, BBC, they showcased that uh, press conference. Hakisema kwamba hana aja na mkate nusu. No. And you see, Raila also termed him mkate nusu not by words, but those are words of Raila Malodinga. So that's what I'm saying. The narrative here seems to be confusing, but we know that the first person who gave who gave this uh, information to the public is Raila Malodinga, whom, according to me, I think is right. I don't know whether Joe participated here. I don't know whether Nurijin Aji participated participated here as alleged by the blogger. Uh, uh, the blogger here, uh, the name Makori, as alleged by Abuga Makori. So we don't know whether Abuga Makori's sentiments are uh, justifiable or they're just out there to for some, for, uh, where, or, or is he, he's just any other blogger who wants to make a name for himself by creating a, a story that is supposed to trend. So we don't know. But that is according to Abuga Makori. But even though, if at all, let's assume it was right, there's nothing wrong with Joe and NIS, the regime, Nurin Aji brokering this peace as long as the quest for justice is adhered to is followed as long as those demands by Kenyans are met there is nothing wrong with Nurini Aji and Joe brokering this peace if, if for instance Jakar Kikwete was in that uh, company then there's also nothing wrong because Jakar Kikwete was here in, in Kenya in 2007 when there was that skirmishes and mayhem about that election, which was uh, too many people, it was too much. So if I told Jaga Kote was in the company of Mama Sulu, there's nothing wrong with that. And if I told Sulu, uh, if I told Joe and NIS Durini Aji were also part of this process, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong. But we cannot uh, confirm whether what... Uh, Makori, Abuga Makori is saying is true. We can't confirm yet, but those are the things that he has said, and he has made those revelations in his tweet, Twitter handle. So, ladies and gentlemen, can you tell us below the comment section there what do you think these allegations which keep on 
uh, coming out of the limelight uh, anything to be believed just tell us below the comment section whether you think what Abuga Makori has unleashed to the public is justifiable and if so whether it's so or not just tell us below the comment section what you think about that sentiment and also I'd like to urge you to please kindly subscribe to this channel and make this channel grow give this video a like it's for it's so important if you do that because this video gets to get shared to other people if you hit the notification bell down there it's very important to you because every time we upload any video you will always get a notification so ladies and gentlemen kindly stay safe stay blessed until you catch up again in our next analysis